here with Craig Victor at the Nike Skills Academy in New Jersey. Craig, uh, how the um, how the academy treat you here? Great learning experience, man. Uh, we got a chance to meet Amari. Um, I actually got a chance to play with Anthony Davis and Kyrie Irving, so it's a great learning experience. We worked with a lot of great high school and college coaches. Um, it was nice to get evaluated by the NBA scouts. Well, I wouldn't say evaluated, but they was here, so that's a good jump start. What were some of the things they were working with you on the last three days? Uh, technique. Um, us high school guys, we like to go fast. Everybody know that, but they say on the next level, you got to slow it down, take your time, you know, step by step, look for the open cutter, just small things that we really didn't know about. We was aware of it, but we really didn't know exactly how we were supposed to play it. How were these kind of practices different than what you normally do with your high school or AAU team? I would just say the level of competition. Um, in every state, we're the man. You know, everybody's the man in their state, but we all come together for a cause, man. That, that cause was to get better and work hard. So, and the level of intensity was crazy, man. Um, one, one time in a drill, we actually walked. So we got on the line, you know, he made us bear crawl and we did a couple of sprints. So yeah, man, I would say the intensity level. Gotta stay here the whole time from morning until night. For people that are watching this video that might not know too much about you, what can you tell us about your background? Uh, what type of player I am or? Like where you're from, uh, when you started playing, uh, something about you as a person, that kind of thing. Uh, very humble. Um, always thank God for putting me in this position. Um, Craig Victor, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, St. Augustine High School. And I would just say I'm a very humbling person, man. I come, I come here, work hard. That's in any situation, because this, this, this is a blessing, man, just to be able to compete all the time. Same thing with the NBA camp and all those other camps, man, but this, this just puts you over the top. When did you start getting attention on the national level? Seventh grade, seventh grade, I believe. I was top 10 by my eighth grade year. Who ranks the seventh graders? Uh, that was, I believe, that was junior All-American camp, so ESPN. I was in the top 10 my eighth grade year, so it's just a learning experience, man. It's just a learning experience, you know. I hit a couple of bumps in a row, now I'm back, you know, just playing and focusing on small things like getting in the gym all the time, every time as possible, you know. And like I said, man, I just thank God for, you know, giving me the opportunities to come through these things. What kind of player are you right now? What are, what are, you, what are you working on? Uh, what type of player I am? Hard working. Mm, face up four. You can score from the outside, can score from the inside, depending on the matchup. I share the ball with my teammate, but main thing is playing hard all the time. That's the main thing, and they preach it all the time, man. If you could play hard, you'll play on the floor. You don't have to be the best scorer. You don't have to be the best rebounder, but if you play hard and give it your all, man, you, you can succeed in this, in this sport. Just watching you out there today, something that stood out to me was your feel for the game. It seems like you were kind of reading what was going on out on the court. You were actually playing in the high post. You don't see a lot of young guys playing in the high post and doing it effectively at a young age. Where does that, where does that come from for you? Well, I would say I always was like a, a high post player. Um, passing, I work on my passing to get my teammates open. As you can see in the, um, in the last game on the back cut, I hit Isaiah. Briscoe for a layup. So I would just say working working on your game from the high post, but I always was on a low block. I just expanded my game. You know, they say inside out. So I went inside first. I got the tools I needed. Now I'm working myself out. And that free throw line extended, that, that's a major part of my game. That helps me a lot. To really be a, a, uh, a face-up four at the pro level, you, you, you need to have um, an effective jump shot as well. What kind of range do you have on your jumper right now? Uh, my mid-range, I could hit those. I could hit a few threes. I say you give me 10 shots from three, I'll probably make six. Right. Yes, sir. So I, I still, I'm working on that every day also. I'm also working on coming off ball screens just in case they might have me playing the three. But like I said, it depends on... Everything depends on matchup in this sport. Um, disadvantages and advantages. So I'm just working on my game, man, just to be an all-around player so I have no weakness. Being from New Orleans, does that mean that uh, the SEC, SEC schools have the biggest advantage in recruiting you, or are you looking at all around the country? All around. All around. Whoever had a best situation for me where I could come in, learn, get better, focus, and win games. 
That's the three main things. Learn, being able to focus, and winning games. Because when you win games, people will notice you. Is the NBA a goal for you down the road? Oh, yes, sir. And I believe it should be everybody goal here. If it's not a goal for you, I don't even know why you're playing. Thanks so much. No problem. Man. Best of luck. Thanks.